What's up guys, Prime Time 2, back again with another video. I'm going to make this sweet and short and um, just get straight to the point. Got a couple things here um, that I got. Not that much as usual lately, I've been getting a lot, but today it's slim pickings. Usually I wait quite a while before I make a video, but I've been thinking that I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Um, I'm just going to do it as I get a little bit here and there. So first we got this um, PlayStation Move um, gun that I got from Kmart a while back. Um, it's, it was like two months ago and I never showed it in the video. It comes with stickers and it was $5 at Kmart. Um, I don't think they have them anymore. And you can It's for the uh, SOCOM game but I don't know if you can use it with um, other games. Um, here's the trigger. and. You press this and uh, this part goes down. It's pretty cool. So that's what it looks like. Five bucks for that. Everything's not always free. <laughs> uh, then we have um, an awesome deal. Actually, my girlfriend paid for this one and I got to pay her back. Uh, this wasn't free, but it was, um, you can see the price $21 from $84.99. The PlayStation Move bundle with the Medieval Moves and Sports Champion with the PS3 camera and the PlayStation Move controller, which was an awesome deal. Um, you barely can find these in any Kmart anymore. I went through three different Kmarts and then I went back to my fourth Kmart and they actually had it. And I was surprised. And they had four of them and I, this is the one I took. <clears throat> and I went to several several Kmart and uh, here's the PlayStation Move controller. I have to put it on the charger because it's dead because I just got it. Here's the camera. Pretty cool little thing. And then we have a couple games. Uh, first off we have uh, Sports Champion, Flip Cover, and Medieval medieval moves. Um, they're both brand new. They came sealed. It was brand new for uh, $21. Um, I think that was an awesome steal. Um, I, I was even contemplating going back and getting some to resell, but I uh, don't got no money right now. I think I showed this already, but I don't know if I did. Actually, I don't think I did. Or did I? No, I did not. I actually showed these on my Instagram. Um, I picked this up at Goodwill. <clears throat> my first N64 game in a while. $1.97. Um, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98. <clears throat> they had another game which was SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, but that game had issues and it was all scratched up. Actually, it was not SpongeBob, excuse me. It was actually um, Donald Duck Quackers. Gone Quackers or Bonkers or something like that, and it was a Dreamcast game, and I was gonna get it to, to put up for trade, and um, I ended up putting it back because it was pretty scratched up. Even though I could have paid three dollars to um to get it resurfaced, I wasn't willing to do that. But here is one of my other big things that I got this month. Yes, look at those prices. I got lucky when I looked behind the counter and I saw these. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta get these. And I spent like some of the last bits of money I had this month to get all three of these. So here we have Final Fantasy VIII for $2. Parasite Eve, $2. And Metal Gear for $2. And um, this is the Parasite Eve that comes with the 1998 Collector's Edition CD that has a playable demo of Xeno Gears, Bushido Blade 2. Brave Fencer Musashi, and I think that's how you say it, and Final Fantasy VIII. And they are all complete and mint condition. I don't know who the person was who traded these in, but yay for me. They have the manuals <clears throat> in mint condition. I'm guessing it was some kind of collector or something because they're in pretty good condition. And as far as this game's concerned, I expect to see that in a future pickup video for me because I'm trying to get all those um, niche. Uh, games that like those real good PS1 games that I remember like that one and um I think it's called Enhander Enhander I'm probably pronouncing it wrong but it was a shooter for the PS1 and it was one of my first PlayStation 1 games when I had a PlayStation 1 I remember letting my brother borrow it with my N64 and everything and he lost it and I still bitch to him to this day that he was an irresponsible child I swear I had I, over a hundred 
Um, and here's the mini walkthrough, uh, mini walkthrough guide. I've never seen that before. And, and here is the actual manual. And there's the disc. It's flipped over. See the disc is in good condition. It's got dust over it. It's got every single disc. And um, I've yet to play any of these. If you guys are wondering, I just got finished playing Infamous, um, and then I was playing Batman at Arkham Origins recently, which I just got recently again. Um, here's Metal Gear, and here's the manual with there's disc one and disc two, and here's the manual. I love how uh, it kind of confused me that the middle, that you would think there's four discs, but sometimes there's not. There's just that thing in there. So, basically, I paid six bucks for all these, and then this at the same Goodwill. So, that was a, a good, good day that day. Um, I, was, I was very happy that day. Then I got at Toys R Us for a dollar each these screen protectors. Um, we have one for the DSi. Each one comes with a screen protector for DS Lite, DSi, DSi XL, 3DS, and the PS Vita. I've used one already. Um, I opened it up. And I actually used the PS Vita screen protector for my 3DS XL, which is sitting over there. And then this month I got uh, Yoshi's Island. Which is, um, it's just, remi it reminds me of the old games that don't, I don't care much for the motion controls, but they work. Um, they're not as bad as what people say they are, like IGN, but they're pretty good. Next up, we're going to see something that I think is one of the contenders already for Game of the Year 2014. Some people may disagree with me. Some people may be on crack and don't know what the hell they're talking about. But if you have not played this game, or you have not bought a PS4... Make it a point to get this game when you do. Here's the box for the infamous Second Son Collector's Edition. Of course, most of the stuff you see on my channel is free. Um, I didn't pay anything for this. Um, all of it was paid through Amazon credits that I got for free. And uh, when it came, I was just so excited. Here's what the box looks like. So this is an unboxing of sorts. When I was playing the game for the first time, I put my hoodie on. My girlfriend was like, how can you even tell that that's a hoodie from um, from the game? You could just go buy that at the store. And then I, you really can't because I don't think they just sell it. And then it has that on the, on the top. And then right here, when you play the game, he's wearing the beanie. And then the front, he wears this on the front. Two on the front of the head it says Seattle 138 and it's the beanie from the game I'm not gonna put it on but I've already wore it um, here we have um, the pen from infamous second son that he wears on his jacket um, I'll probably be wearing these next winter I don't think I'll be wearing them anytime soon because summer's coming up we're actually in spring now so here we have some stickers um, from the um, the game Here's the du the, the dupes on uh, the Department of Unified Protection. Uh, they're the bad guys in the game. They're the assholes in the game. Yeah, you play the game, you'll know who the assholes are. You probably guys probably seen the videos on IGN of the game. But I don't know what IGN gave it as a review. I think it was an 8 point something, but I would have given it like a 9.5. It had its flaws. Um, I don't think I've seen any glitches. But I think this is the first game that I've ever seen that makes me look forward to the future of next-gen gaming and on consoles and on um, PC. I don't care about Xbox One. Um, because of um, the draw distance and infamous. I'm telling you guys, you could see to the other island. And it's not blurry. It looks fantastic. And The Witcher 3... Wild Hunt is going to look so good that I'm even thinking about getting that game. Just thinking about the draw distance. And even in Batman Arkham Knight, it's going to just look so fantastic. I'm just excited thinking about it. Just j just those tiny things and then the special effects that they used in that game. And then the ending, the ending for the evil part. People didn't like the story. I thought the story was great. But, yeah. Here we have Kingdom Hearts 2. I own every Kingdom Hearts game except a couple. I think the Game Boy Advance one, which I think came... I don't know if it came, but I don't care about that one. Every one of those except the Game Boy Advance one and one of the DS ones um, and this one, which... 
I thought I bought it already. Turns out I actually have two copies of the Kingdom Hearts 1. So now I have this one. And yes, I'm getting Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. But hopefully they don't F up and give us a sorry HD remake like they did Kingdom Hearts um, 1.5 remake Remix. Which was not a bad remix, but it just was not upped. You you can't tell the difference. It just looks just like the old game. There's there's really no point in buying it unless you just want the trophies and all the games together at once. Then we have Resident Evil Revelations, um, a great game. I have it for the 3DS. I just wanted to play it on the um, Wii U and use the gamepad features. Then we have um, Tales of Exilia, the limited edition that comes with the uh, the music CD the DLC and the character book um, I'm not gonna open it I don't wanna waste no time but you guys can go look at other videos on YouTube usually I'm but I only got one hand right now so I'm trying to be as fast as possible plus my camera just started blinking it's going dead why now here we have something real awesome but I'm kinda pissed about and I got my money back so this ended up being free um, because if you're gonna list something on a website, if you don't list it at what it's supposed to be, um, luckily for the guy, I'm not gonna give him bad feedback, but I did get my money back. This is Castlevania uh, Portrait of Ruin Collector's Edition or promo or something, but it was supposed to come with the game. It even said it in the description, but no game, and I was kind of pissed about it. So no game, and it's pretty cool. It comes with the book, art book and stuff and it was kinda wet when I first got it I was kinda mad about that Batman Arkham Origins I already had that previously now I own it again um, there's two more things Pokemon X uh, now on both Pokemon X and Y and Sly Cooper Thieves in Time which I own for the Vita and now I own for the PS3 and there's only one more thing to show um, to wrap up this video and that's this um, this is actually the Wii Mote controller with a Wii U cover that I got for five bucks it's actually a hard cover and um, this is the one I found but there was other ones that it had advertised on the back that I thought it came with all three of them but it actually came with one four ninety nine on clearance at Toys R Us um, Toys R Us is having a huge blowout sale um, it was a great deal I thought for five bucks the original price was like fifteen or more I think um, so thanks for watching my video, my video, Prime Time, signing out.